Today, the tax administration reform has significantly reduced the influence of the inspector, as well as the opportunities for corruption in tax collection. Taxpayers can now receive information and assistance at the Taxpayer Service Center located at the GDT headquarters. The center was inaugurated on October 15, 2007. This date also marked the introduction of e-tax services in Albania. The tax administration in Albania now operates on the basis of a new tax procedures law, which upholds the principle of self-declaration and taxpayer rights. It uses modern tax administration concepts and procedures, making it simpler to comply and harder to evade tax obligations. Gjellim, gjithmon duke i lodhur dhe i stresuar. I më shoqë angoj i shumë për borokratësin të këtë timet. Vëdha im, takoj e shpesh për inspektorën e taksat. Ligji ri të atime dhe i ka ndryshuar gjërë. A i garanton më te për transparencë dhe trajtim të barabart. Deklaratat atimore mund të shkartkosh edhe nga internet. Ma djetë atimet e tua mund të deklarosh në mënyrë elektronike. Në internet mund të shohësht edhe dosjen të ndët të të atime. Po i plotsove detyrimet të atimore, ku të mos kesh nevoj fare të takosh inspektorin e të atime. In tax, as in business registration and public procurement, the introduction of the e-services has increased transparency and accountability, while reducing the need for personal contact and saving taxpayers time and money. In the words of a business accountant, it's two different worlds. You can't even compare them. Now I just sit at my computer and download everything. I can complete the forms and send them to the bank. 80% of registered taxpayers in Albania can now download tax declarations from the GDT website. Taxpayers in Tirana, Duras, and most recently in Elbasan and Vlora can use the e-filing and have electronic access to their tax account information. E-filed returns now constitute 30% of tax revenue in Albania. Since September 2006, things have really changed. In its 2008 Corruption Perception Index, Transparency International recognized that the systemic approach taken in Albania in reducing corruption in tax administration, procurement, and services to businesses had led to a modernization of such services. It noted that the implementation of electronic systems for taxes, procurement, and business licenses had reduced opportunities for extortion. E-filing, e-procurement, and e-registration. These are all elements of a vision shared by the U.S. and Albanian governments to build an interconnected system that uses e-governance solutions to increase the efficiency and quality of public services. This vision came a step closer to realization when the government of Albania created the National Agency for Information Society to maintain and coordinate information technology systems across government agencies. To build this capacity, the U.S. government provided both technical and infrastructure support. At the NAIS dedication ceremony on May 19, 2008, USAID Administrator Henrietta Four heralded this new agency as assurance that reforms now underway and the e-governance systems underpinning them will be sustained. We are going to consider this a model for the region, and so we uh, wish you every luck, but we will be at your side to remain partners. Good luck to you. Now stage one of the Millennium Challenge Corporation Threshold Program is drawing to a close. The success of this U.S.-Albanian partnership would not have been possible without everyone's contribution. Thanks to this success, preparations for a second stage are underway, with even more ambitious targets and vision. There is indeed a lot to look forward to.